key benefit of this device is freedom. Um, you can write anywhere, you can capture information anywhere. If you look at, back at the beat generation, they had to rely on a pen and paper and um, their memory. Now you can do it immediately. So this is the new Via Nanobook reference design that we've just developed. The Via Nanobook is powered by a 1.2 GHz Via C7 processor and it also supports up to 1 GB of um, DDR2 SD RAM, giving uh, all the power and performance necessary to run a full set of applications. Perhaps the most important feature is the keyboard. This is a full keyboard with all the keys that you find on a standard um, device. This device is a very, very small form factor um, that delivers a very, very good um, battery life. Now I think uh, one of the, the key features is that it's very, very light to carry and even after running for a couple of hours there's very, very low heat. Um, it has a full set of connectivity features including, including a DVI port, a 4-in-1 card reader, um, beyond that um, a networking port and two USB ports and audio in and audio out ports. As you can see it's got a small 4-cell battery um, which delivers pretty close to five hours of battery life. And in addition to that, there is wireless, both Bluetooth and 802.11. As a unique value added feature, we've also created a special slot um, where you can connect a variety of different cards next to the screen. That includes things like a world time clock, um, 3G wireless cards, voice over IP modules, and um, others. As you can see, also it runs um, Windows XP or Windows Vista and um, it is great for running videos, photos. I think the great thing about this device is you can carry it wherever you happen to go and you can use it wherever you happen to be. I think that the big difference between now and the beat generation um, is that you can capture the content immediately and publish it. Also, using a device like this, um, you can add photos, you can add video, and you can create a whole multimedia mashup instead of simply written text.